Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Um, my photo booth lags a lot when I'm screen recording, so I drew these pictures of me to go back and forth between so it looks like I'm talking. Um, so I wanted to apologize for not making Halloween content in October. I tried to, I did. And then none of it was good enough. I was just scrolling through my phone and I came across a TikTok that looks like this. I won't play it because it's got copywritten music. The song in question is Fade Into You by Mazzy Star, which just feels disrespectful for how stupid this TikTok is. Give me a second to pick up my phone. It's been one second. POV, you finally cave and buy the viral blow up doll face purse while it's on major discount in TikTok shop. So one of the things I like about this POV is how universal it is. I think the best content made on the internet is content that speaks to the fundamental human experience of finally getting to buy the vi Right, the viral blow up doll purse while it's on major discount on TikTok shop. Oh my God! Sometimes I really think about how much manufacturing power and human energy and money goes into manufacturing one thing. Like this pen, for example, this pen. I think about how that much time and energy and effort goes into manufacturing stuff that's actually useful. And then I think about the same amount of energy, more energy, going into manufacturing things like the viral blow up doll face purse onto, like just, there's so much nonsense and junk in the world for people to buy. It, not to get all back in my day, maybe just maybe, we were better off, I have to pick up the pens, I'm sorry. We were better off when if we wanted to buy something, we actually had to like save up money and wait. Now it's like, if I decide right this second, I want to buy a glass statue of a dolphin. I could get that this in a minute. Whereas something so fabulous, I should have to save up for. Oh my God, I it's been one second and I'm getting preachy and yelling. So, okay. So I should just kill myself. The pen fell on the ground. That wasn't just unwarranted. Okay, so I can't see it. Do you ever notice when you drop something on the ground, it hits the ground and then completely vanishes outside of this dimension? You realize I live in a finite space, right? I'm in a room right now. I don't understand how things that fall on the floor are suddenly exempt from the law of conservation of matter. I said I would do it. I said I would make another Timu episode. And now I think I'm gonna do it because I'm mad about capitalism and consumerism and plastics. <laughs> it's not Halloween anymore, but the scariest thing that we have to combat with on a daily basis is the idea of gigantic mega corporation websites that sell every conceivable thing with no regard for ethics. Oh, this? This is just the finest Massachusetts tap water money can buy. Gigi's house. What happens at Gigi's house stays at Gigi's house. Gigi's house is obviously a front for the darkest elements of humanity. Otherwise, she wouldn't need this sign. Oh, is that one of those like regional nicknames for grandmothers? You know, when people are like, oh, this is my Mimi. This is my Mopsy. This is my Mima. I love Mima. I wish I lived in a part of the country where people said Mima. I just call my grandmother's boring stuff like grandma and Nana. Actually, I don't call my grandmothers anything. I have no living grandparents. Can I be sad for a second? I get so wigged out when people my age have all their grandparents still alive. Cause like your grandparents, you're an adult. Your grandparents are supposed to be dead. Like I think it's childish. To my dear son-in-law, I didn't give you the gift of life. I gave you my gorgeous daughter. Thank you for not selling her to the circus. I know how tempting that option is some days. Love your mother-in-law. <laughs> I guess this is 
a mug that your son-in-law would have, but then the model in the photo has a manicure and a cream sweater. Is the son-in-law wearing these things? If so, I would recommend he choose a different nail color. I don't think bubble bath is the most flattering. So the lion is obviously here because of the word circus, right? Is this implying that the gorgeous daughter is the lion? Thank you for not selling her to the circus. Do they still do lion tamings in the circus? That kind of seems like an old world pre-concerns about animal cruelty type beat situation. Does that mean that the mother-in-law is also a lion? Seven people bought this in the last 24 hours? That just seems like a marvel of statistics. Seven people in the span of one day bought the same mug? So seven mothers-in-law who are fine with kind of vaguely insulting their daughter, bought this in the same day. I wonder if they know each other. It's kind of refreshing to see media, and I do consider this mug on Timu media, that shows a positive relationship between a husband and his mother-in-law. Because I feel like that relationship is so often rife for toxicity. I'm talking like I am married and know what that's like, which is ridiculous for two reasons. One, my own mother is the nicest woman ever. There's no way she would ever be a toxic mother-in-law to whoever I marry. Second, I'm not getting married anytime soon. I don't have very many men who watch my channel. I don't really know what men like, um, but I know they like wearing clothes because they do it all the time. So I figure, what the fuck? I hate this website. What is that? Oh my God, oh my God. I hate this so much. I am not saying this phrase out loud because it will embarrass me to say, but just read it. Read it to yourself. Talk amongst yourselves over it. Anyway, closing this tab. Maybe if I talk about men's clothing, men will have a reason to watch my channel. I would rather stand with God and be judged by the world than to stand with the world and be judged by God. Wow. When, is the front of the shirt completely blank? Yeah. Oh God, what a bait and switch, huh? What a prank that is. To see someone in public from the front and think they're wearing just a normal black t-shirt and then they turn around and it's like, oh my God, actually, this is the sexiest man I've ever seen. Wait a second, is that a lion? That is a lion. Oh, that's so nice. He has his wife on the shirt. Aw. You can't tell me what to do. You're not my granddaughter. Oh, this is on the front of the shirt, okay. Imagine standing behind this guy in line and he's kind of in your way and you ask him nicely to step aside. He doesn't respond. You say again, so would you mind taking a step to the right? No answer. You say, hey buddy, move out of the way. All of a sudden he turns around. Uh oh. <laughs> You're not his granddaughter. What are you doing using the imperative tone with this man? I'm the nicest asshole you will ever meet. Sir, you would have absolutely no way of knowing that. Anal bleaching technology has made leaps and bounds since the 90s. We are living in an era of some of the nicest assholes that have ever been puckered. You are most definitely not the nicest asshole I will ever meet. In fact, I would venture to say that I haven't yet met the nicest asshole that I'll ever meet. The devil saw me with my head down and thought he'd won until I said, amen. This guy is absolutely tormenting the devil. Anytime this guy ever puts his head down, the devil's like, yes, 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 yes. And then he lifts his head up because he finished brushing his teeth or he finished looking down at his shoes or he finished looking down to see if his fly was open. It was. The poor devil has gotta be on an emotional whiplash, the likes of which we've never seen. I feel bad for the devil. Is that what that song, Sympathy for the Devil, is about? The cat and mouse game being played by the devil and any man wearing the shirt from Timu? Probably. We owe illegals nothing. We owe our veterans everything. <sighs> okay. <laughs> I don't really know what to say about this shirt other than if I saw somebody wearing this in public, I don't know if I'd be able to stop myself from bunny kicking their back until I see blood. Um, yeah. I'm a multitasker. I can listen 
ignore, and forget all at the same time. I don't like to advocate for assassination of normal, regular people. But why is this guy yoked? Look at this. You don't get this kind of obtuse angle in your arms without putting in some serious work at the gym. If you have that level of dedication to build up your muscles to this extent, you probably do a whole lot of listening. You probably listen to your trainer. You probably listen to whoever's spotting you. You probably listen to some beefed up, absolutely shredded, roided out, manosphere, misogynistic TikTok creator with a terrible podcast, using probably the exact same microphone I'm using to spout terrible things about women and money, while I'm using my microphone to screen record myself on a website. Who's doing more damage to society? It could be me but I'd never admit to that. So not only is this shirt stupid, it's also a lie. Walk away. Oh wait, hold on. I just noticed a skeleton is saying this while pointing directly at me. I feel like I should use a spookier voice. Walk away. I am a grumpy old man. I love dogs more than humans. I have anger issues and a serious dislike for stupid people. Hold on, wait a second. This skeleton is iced out. Hold, I feel like we just took in a lot of information. So first off, this skeleton is telling us to walk away because the person wearing him, the skeleton, is a grumpy old man. That's one fact. Actually, it's two. Actually, it's three. Grumpy old man. They love dogs more than humans, which is so, I, can I say this? I literally cannot stand people who say things like this. We don't deserve dogs. <laughs> I wouldn't save a human being, but I would save a dog. Shut up. First of all, it's like always white people. Second off, oh yeah, really? I bet if it was between you and a, and a, uh, I literally cannot think of one single dog breed name. Um, a, 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 a King Charles Cavalier, Caval Cavalier, Ca there we go, Cavalier. I bet if it was between you and this son of a bitch and you both needed rescuing, but the EMTs only had time to save one of you, you would be begging to be saved. You're telling me that this thing's life matters more than me? You know what, if I, if I get into this, I'm gonna start saying what dog breeds I think are ugly. And people always get mad at me when I say that. German Shepherd, cute. Soul dog, ugly. Labrador Retriever, mid. Golden Retriever. Mid. French Bulldog. Ugly. Siberian Husky. Perfect. Border Collie. Perfect. Dachshund? Dachshund? Mid. Chihuahua. Perfect. Poodle. Perfect. Alaskan Malamute. Perfect. Beagle. Mid. Iredale Terrier. If I pronounce that wrong, I don't want to hear a goddamn word about it, by the way. Ugly. Bichon Frise. Cute if it doesn't have that red stuff around its eyes. Why do you guys let your dogs walk around looking like they're crying blood? Rottweiler. I do like raw, I think they're cute. I don't usually like smooth dogs like this, like dogs that have smooth, oily looking fur. Australian Shepherd, perfect. Maltese Dog, oh, these are the little red eye ones, not the Bichons. Same thing though. Mid. Yorkies, perfect. Afghan Hound, gorgeous. Pomeranian, literally the most perfect a dog could look. I need this animal. I know they're yappy, I don't care. I don't actually have one. It's all a theory, a dog theory. Chow Chows, perfect. Look at this thing's face. Are you kidding me? Corgis, perfect. Basset Hounds, ugly. Skipperka, perfect dog. This is maybe one of the best animals God created. Shiba Inu, perfect dog. Doberman, mid. Borzoi, perfect dog. What is this? Whatever this thing is, these guys, ugly. American Bully, I thought we did this one already. Ugly. Samoyed. Perfect animal. The most beautiful dog on God's earth. Look at her. She's adorable. And look at how fluffy. I think that all animals should be fluffy. That's how shallow I am about animals. I don't even like sphinx cats. I want cats fluffy. I want dogs fluffy. I want birds fluffy. I want fish fluffy. Every animal should be soft and fluffy. That includes lizards. That includes amphibians. That includes people. Okay, where were we? Oh, right, 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 right. Anyway, back to the skeleton chart. I have anger issues 
and a serious dislike for stupid people, then this person must suffer extensively with self-hatred. I have anger issues. Anybody who's ever said, I have anger issues, hey, you're about to have staying alive issues when I get my hands on you. I love it when she bends over. This guy wants to fuck his fishing rod. And Joe Biden isn't doing anything about that. That is what this means, right? She in this question is the fishing rod. And when she's bending over, it means he's got a bite and he's gonna catch a fish. I get it. I understand fishing. Anyway, once again, anyone who wears this shirt wants to have full, romantic, complete sex with their fishing rod. Whoa! Whoa! Oh, no, 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 no. Oh my God. 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 Oh, <laughs> oh that's not, that's not. So, um, for, <sighs> okay. Just the tip, I promise. For those of you unaware, that's a little bit of a sex joke about, um, about only putting a little bit in instead of all of it, right? But what this sweatshirt has done, which is so funny and so clever, is put a bullet instead. So it's like, I'm only gonna put the tip of this bullet in you. The joke is that the way bullets work, the whole thing's gonna go in anyway. This is the number four bestseller in men's plus size hoodies and sweatshirts, by the way. I just baked you some shut the fuck up cakes. <laughs> what in the it's raining tacos is this hoodie? What type of I baked you a cookie but I eat it it type beat? If you wear this, especially if you wear this green one, I baked you some shut the fuck up cakes, I should be allowed to get into a cab and have that cab driver run you down in the street for free. I shouldn't even have to pay the cabbie afterward. You know why? Cause I'm doing us both a favor. I just baked the lowercase I, I just noticed that. I just noticed that. The I is lowercase. That for whatever reason makes me even angrier. Cause I know, I, oh God, I know that there is a former scene kid struggling Twitch streamer right now who wants this hoodie. This is number six top rated in men's plus size hoodies and sweatshirts. I know someone's buying this and I know the guy in question who's buying this. God, oh my God. I just know the web browsing history on his computer is nuclear. Ooh, I wanna, ooh, I wanna find this person. I wanna find, Listen, I'm about to turn into the punisher for the 7.7K people who bought this hoodie. You better count your days. If you have this hoodie in your house, I am about to go medieval on that ass. And I just want you to be aware of that. I'm coming and I'm gonna get there soon. <laughs> I'd advise you to run but it's getting kind of cold outside and you're probably gonna need a sweatshirt. And if you put on this hoodie, guess what? I'm only gonna find you faster. <laughs> oh God, oh my God. Oh my God. Oh my God. <laughs> <laughs> this is the, thing the, th <coughs> the Thanksgiving print men's casual short sleeve shirt, men's shirt for summer vacation. <laughs> God, summer vacation. Summer vacation resort, tops for men, gift for men. They got tops for men on this website? E bottoms, e form a line. The happy across the collar, completely illegible from the front. The identical design on the back and front of the shirt. The fact that this was probably like a mid 2000s Thanksgiving Evite clip art that was just I don't know, tumbled into whatever image generator Timu uses to make their clothing. Everything about this is unbelievable. And this shirt could be yours for only $9.87. And you could look like almost 10,000 other people. 9.8 thousand of these shirts. Remember at the beginning when I was getting all soapbox Sally 
about pollution and ethics with manufacturing and how websites like Timu make me upset because I know that a lot of money and manpower and material goes into making this stuff on this website the same amount that goes into making stuff that's actually not garbage. This is kind of exactly what I'm talking about. Thinking about the fact that this shirt has allegedly, because I don't know if I believe the numbers Timu is telling me, been sold almost 10,000 times. 10,000 of these objectively hideous shirts, probably made of nothing but the finest flammable fabrics. It kind of makes my blood boil a little bit. It makes me feel a little bit like a turkey in an oven on Thanksgiving. Hot and puckered and stuffed with apples and <laughs> breadcrumbs. Oh, Christ, yeah. After everything I've been through, I'm still smiling. Not because I'm strong, but because I'm crazy. Now that should scare you. <laughs> wait a second, wait a second, wait, wait, wait. Now that should scare you old. <sighs> yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> this is the perfect shirt. <laughs> the perfect shirt. After everything I've been through, I'm still smiling. <laughs> Not because I'm strong, but because I'm crazy. Now that shouldn't scare you. Please, please. Of everything I've ever talked about in a window shopping video, this is maybe the one I'm the most tempted to actually buy. No, I don't wanna give Timu my credit card information. I just don't think that that's gonna end well for me just to get a funny novelty shirt. The wolf, <laughs> the wolf. The wolf is, oh God, it's so beautiful. This is perfect. I also like how it freely admits that the person wearing it is weak. I'm not strong, but I am crazy. And I think that vulnerability in men is something that we should be allowed to talk about and uplift. I love vulnerable men. My opinion is that the more, <laughs> the more weak and pathetic a man is, the better. If he's not on the verge of tears at all times, hey brother, I don't want him. I want him to be a walking, emotional Fabergé egg. <laughs> oh my God, whoa. Stylish chicken pirate print, men's graphic design crew neck novel t-shirt, casual comfy tees t-shirt for summer men's clothing tops for daily vacation resorts. Whoa, daily vacations? Damn, whoever buys this shirt has gotta be Fallen. 90% polyester, 10% spandex. Now that's a recipe for a comfortable t-shirt. All right, guys, I'll say what everyone's thinking. This chicken, kind of sexy. Few people know this, but Nashville hot chicken is exclusively made out of chickens who look like this. That's where it gets its name. It's not from the spices. Oh my God, wait, hold the phone. You are lying to me. Oh my God. Cage free. Son of a bitch. <laughs> this shirt makes me want to salute the flag, I think. <sighs> yeah. I love this country. Let's move on. <clears throat> I gotta get like a real low, low register for this. <sighs> <sighs> Sorry, I'm just trying to get to it. I am politically incorrect. I say Merry Christmas. God bless America. I own guns, eat bacon, and salute our flag and thank our troops. If this offends you, I don't care. In God we trust. I eat guns, I own bacon. I love the implication that the bacon is made from this snake. And I know, I know, okay? I know it's this snake. I know things, I know why it's there. Look at the evidence. It says I own guns and the guns are there. It says God bless America and the flag is right behind it. It says 
in God we trust, and God is inside all of us at all times. Here's bacon in huge letters, and the only other thing we have on this shirt is this snake. I'm sorry to say, this snake is bacon now. I also love how we spelled out and here, but then we got a little tired. We didn't want to put all that energy into it again. So we put an ampersand here in the same sentence. Oh, model is wearing a large, is that? Hey, wait a second. <laughs> Damn, something tells me that is not the model for this t-shirt. I think that might be Hollywood actor Chris Hemsworth. Okay, I've been saving this one. Hey, Snowflake. In the real world, you don't get a participation trophy. Not everybody's a winner. There are no safe spaces. Screaming doesn't make you right. No one owes you anything. Crying doesn't solve problems. Nothing is free in this world. People are going to say things that you don't like and you are not special. If there's no such thing as safe spaces, then why did they build trenches during World War I? Oh, okay. That's really fascinating, actually. So why do you have a house then, huh? Why do you live in a house? Why do you live inside somewhere, huh? Oh, 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 oh! Is it because it's safer to be inside a domicile than to just live on the street? <gasps> Is that why? Is that why you have a house? So you're saying that God just owes you breathable air? Crying doesn't solve problems? Hey, jackass, have you ever met a baby? Aw. Oh, I thought it was just a picture of a kitten. And I thought, oh, that's nice. In the midst of all these hardcore, I have sex with my truck using a condom made out of bacon type shirts. I was like, oh, that's cute. There's just a little kitten on this one, but it's a kitten and in the reflection, it's a tiger. So it's like, I even that's adorable. It's like a tough guy being like, I may look like a little fluffy baby cat who sucks on his mommy's teats for milky wilkies and then goes to sleep in a warm fuzzy pile of my brothers and sisters. But actually, I'm a tiger who does all those same things. <laughs> but is bigger. That reminds me of something. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> anyway, I know I said earlier in the video that I like weak, emotionally fragile, tearful men, but I was lying. I like hardcore, extremely masculine men, but I have so much trouble knowing when a man that I see in public is actually the type of hardcore, super macho masculine man that I'd like. Until I discovered funny hippo print, men's graphic design, crew neck novel t-shirt, casual comfy tees t-shirt for summer men's clothing tops for daily vacation resorts. If I see a man walking around somewhere with a big voluptuous naked hippo on a shirt. I know that's a guy who doesn't give a shit what anybody thinks of him. Also, one of the most refreshing things about this is that only 106 of these shirts have been sold. We were seeing numbers in the thousands before, but only a select group of men is a discerning enough shopper to know that this is where the real style lives. Men, if form a line, my door is unlocked and my body is ready. <laughs> oh God, I just had so many like repressed Tumblr memories. Oh. I saw this every day in 2011. God, I have survived so much. <laughs> and after everything I've been through, I'm still smiling, but not because I'm strong, because I'm crazy. And that should scare you old. Yeah. I've been seeing this shirt on and off as I've been scrolling through Timu, and like, I didn't want to say anything about it, but then I realized something. Let's review this text. Since we are redefining everything now, this is a cordless hole puncher. And it's like a, you know, a, a big gun. I don't know if it's an AR-15 or, 
an M16 or what the difference is between them, but it's like a serious gun. And I was like, oh, hi, you know, puts holes in people. I get it, right? Bullets. And then I realized something. Cordless? Do you think that hole punchers require electricity? <laughs> okay, this is another gun shirt. We're talking a lot about guns today. Isn't that fun? So we have a bunch of different caliber bullets. We have a 50 cal, 3060, blah, 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 right? And then on the left of the image, we have the text all faster than dialing 911. Now the implication presented by this shirt is that somebody breaks into your house, right? And what's faster than dialing 911 and calling the police to come deal with this intruder is to shoot them with any variety of bullets via a gun. Pro having a gun in your house to dispatch righteous justice on intruders, okay? But let's expand. Right, let's think bigger. Let's say that you are walking down the street and a little girl's cat has gotten stuck up a tree and somebody asks you to call the fire department to come deal with this cat. No, 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 no. So you say, sir, <laughs> I can think of a way to deal with this problem that is much faster than dialing 911. And you whip out that gun and you shoot that tree until there is no more tree. And that cat is back. You know what? I'm just realizing Family Guy did this exact bit. I'm literally word for word quoting a Family Guy bit. This exact same thing happened on Family Guy. Fuck, that's so embarrassing. Let's say you're at a bake sale for your kid's school and your school sent home a memo before the bake sale saying in no uncertain terms that this bake sale and all of the goods brought to it to be sold had to be nut free because Jeremy in third grade or grade three for my Canadian viewers is deathly allergic to nuts. Your wife made a delicious plate of brownies to bring to this bake sale. And you don't read any of that liberal propaganda that your kids blue haired teachers send home with them. It's probably gonna have instructions on how to invent your own pronouns and denounce God. You're at the bake sale helping out because you feel like it's probably beneficial for these kids to have a real adult somewhere in their orbit, right? The kids are enjoying their baked goods, everyone's having fun. And you notice little Jeremy from third grade or grade three for my Canadian viewers, take one of your wife's brownies. And you think with pride about what a good baker your wife is. And she always gets so excited every time she goes to the grocery store to buy ingredients for the brownies. Cocoa, eggs, butter, flour, walnuts. All of a sudden, little Jeremy starts to clutch his own throat. Ms. What's a liberal last name? I don't know. Uh, Gay. Miss Gay runs over to little Jeremy and says, Oh my God, he's having an allergic reaction. Somebody call 911 as she rummages around in her teacher backpack for little Jeremy's EpiPen. And you say, no, 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 Miss Gay. I can think of a way to deal with this problem that is much faster than dialing 911. And you whip out your 40 cal and you, what do you do? You shoot the brownies. Your wife can make another batch. Those brownies just tried to kill a kid. I don't even know what all these bullets are. I know the 50 cal is the one that was in the other just the tip shirt. He's here for another appearance. Thank you, sir, for gracing us with your presence. Or should I say, grazing us with your presence. I want it to be known that I don't even have it sorted on t-shirts. I'm just on men's clothing right now. It's just so many graphic tees that that's all that I'm being shown. I assume that there are things like button ups or whatever other clothes men wear, but they just, they're being buried by this literal avalanche of the best graphic t-shirts I have ever seen. I talk, I smile, I laugh too, but be careful when I'm silent. People should seriously stop expecting normal from me. We all know it's never going to happen. The normalest people God has ever brought forth into existence would wear a shirt like this. You could show someone like this, like, I don't know, salad fingers or something, and they would stop talking to you. They would talk about how weird and creepy you are and would like ostracize you socially and then go home and put on this shirt to go to a bar 
and get an Amstel light or whatever. This is probably the shirt being worn by someone who thinks it's gay to drink cocktails. Please. You know, I wasn't expecting to learn so much about men and male culture from doing a simple window shopping video on Timu, but I feel imbued with a holy knowledge that I will take into the world. And I think it's made me a better woman. Thank you guys so much for watching. And don't forget to use code NISIPISA for 10% off at checkout at your local gun store. Bye.